Oh, we're going down the mountain now, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, we got some speed, boy. <laughs> Holy cow, you, are you serious? You blew me like, by me like a crotch rocket. I'm going 62. I'm doing 58, <laughs> 59, 60. Nah, people said these things don't run. Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So we are in Bisbee, Arizona. Me on the Honda CT125, and here comes Scotty. He's going to blow by me like I'm sitting still. On the Grom one. On the Grom 125. <laughs> he is the Grom, the Grinch Grom or something. Yeah, no, they're the Grom ones. You don't, you don't put gas in them after midnight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we've been riding around. If you watch our last video, we rode all these streets, not all of them, but a bunch of them. And I mean, just had a blast. These things are fun. So, and all this riding I've done, let's see, 50 miles so far. I only lowered this thing one bar. <laughs> yeah. From I whenever just... I bought this new, and I don't know if they filled it up all the way or not. I, well, it was said full, so. Uh, yeah, one bar on 50 miles already, so <laughs> crazy. And they sure make it smell good, don't they? They do. <laughs> it smells like a wood burning stove. Yeah, we ain't gonna stop the pizza. No. So it's gonna get cold on the way home, and it's probably gonna be dark by the time we get there. Yeah. One thing about it, you can't just fly home at 65 on these, like you can on the 300L. But I can tell you one thing: you can ride these, and you you definitely lots of smiles when you ride them. <laughs> yeah. They're fun. I'm gonna pull it real quick. I forgot to put my helmet strap on. Uh oh. It. Just gonna pull over right up here. Uh oh, there's a skateboard. Watch out. He probably wanted to trade you. Probably. Miles per gallon. Does get better gas mileage. <laughs> here we go. For a push. We go past the Studebaker. Go ride right all the home with the shield up. <laughs> That's gonna get cold. Yeah, right. It, it's already here, and of course it may be cooler here, but it's cool right here in, in Bisbee. I've noticed Bisbee's temperature is a little cooler usually. I'm trying to get a visual marker on where that road is. It's further up. Yeah, which one is it? And oh, what's by it? That's what I'm saying. I think it's after. See that brown house sticking off the side? Yeah. I think that's where we went up and we turned around on that little dead end. So I think it's right after that. Yeah, it's not as fast as for sure. On the last video, you see we went up in here in the street, and we've actually found a tunnel here in town. And they got a, a tunnel actually for the Grom uh, Trail 125. <laughs> they got one for cars, and they got one for these. Yeah, that's like the second it. or third one we went up. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, it's right after this brown house on the other side of this hill. That's where it is. I almost guarantee it. I'm pretty good with remembering where things are. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's the next means one. you're almost guaranteed. Almost. You, really, you can't guarantee. It works 100% of the time, 60% of the time. <laughs> Everything he says is 99% truthful. Yep. It's just that 1% you got to watch out for. <laughs> Up right here, Red Guardrails. That's it, right? Red Guardrails. That's oh, that's turned. the name of the road. Red Guardrail Road. Spring Canyon. We're going to go up there one more time. One more time. We can't resist it. what it is. Yeah, this is it. So it's by the red guardrails. I cannot believe they built this thing for our bikes. It's yep. ridiculous. They built this city. They built this city on groms and trails, not rock and roll. Hope ain't nobody in there making out. Making... Love out of nothing at all. Oh, listen to the sound of the bike. It I know, like I a, heard it, yeah. It sounds like a Harley. I was say, you, said, you sound like you're on a damn Harley. We are on a hog. Does this road go on? No. Or did it? I think it's a dead end. I, we didn't check. No, it we might. didn't. Let's go. We'll Let's, see. Real quick well, this we'll goes go all the way back to Sierra Vista. Wouldn't it? That, that'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah, it would be sweet. <laughs> Hid, hidden Oaks? <laughs> oh, it says, yeah, see. I'm telling you, I've got the power cranking here. 
like first gear is too low, second was too high. There we go. Yeah, I kind of got dead end. Dead end. Got a loop around here. Beep. Oh man, they cut. See, they put a gate across the good trail. Yeah. Oh man. Well, that's pretty cool. I dang sure never knew there was a tunnel. I knew the big tunnel on the highway. <laughs> yeah. But didn't know there was one down here in Bisbee. It kind of, it's a tunnel over a road, ain't it? Yeah, it's over the road. That's under the main that. highway. Yeah. So this is a tunnel under that highway. Yeah. Crazy. I had no idea. This is crazy. I can't believe we just happened to look over here. It's too cool. Gonna switch into Harley mode? Yep. Here we go. Yeah, watch it there. <laughs> Where, where's them anti lock brakes at? They're non existent. I should have tried mine right there and see if they work. No, my luck, I'd been on my face. <laughs> and go right into the tunnel wall. Like, oh, I found the anti lock brakes. It's crazy how much it amplifies your sound. I didn't find the anti lock brakes, I found the anti Christ brakes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I found. Oh, my. Oh, no doubt. Super cool, and I mean, I mean, cool. Like it's gonna be probably, uh, I bet it's 50 degrees. Right? It's getting colder than that. I don't know. It's, it's cooling cool down. Here. It's it getting pretty, pretty. It crisp. feels like it's in the 40s to me. I don't know about that. Oh, don't be a sissy. Pepsi Cola. <laughs> <laughs> now it Jeez. feels cool. I laughed, you dude. I had made a circle and come back around and got you. Yep. And I'm telling you, I was stroking on this dude, and I still wasn't speeding. I had this thing cranking. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's a VW. A Volkswagen. Watch this bump. Oh, yeah. You see me, I bunny hopped the front tire yeah. over it. I totally cleared it with the front tire. That's freaking awesome. That was wild. Now I guarantee I can't do that. Three well, with three hundred, just got a power. You can't wheelie it over that. But. Yeah. But I, I bent. I just pulled up and I bent. I went over the whole thing. That's Man, crazy. And cooking. It smells good. That's me. Yeah. I passed I pass gas right there, and you're yeah. behind me. <laughs> Does it smell like uh, chicken wings? Yeah. Uh, that's what it is. Yeah. Are we on the right road? Yeah, this is it. Okay. <laughs> it goes straight out as long as you don't turn. Uh oh, I was speeding. I was doing 27. Yeah, that's true. You better be careful. Get in trouble. I mean, you might go by somebody and just the air air pressure will knock them off the road and kill them. Oof. Yeah, they probably draft right behind me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about off the gas or off the bike. The bike goes fast. And it was real warm when we started, but it is actually getting cold. Oh, it's cold right now. I'm I'm cold. My hands are cold. It's, it's my... dropped 10, 10 degrees in the past 20 minutes. Yeah, no doubt. God. <laughs> and we're going to take us about an hour to get up this mountain. <laughs> uh, if I lean forward, it's 59 minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he got that dude stroking. <laughs> Four stroking. <laughs> No way, you're going to pass me. Can we come to a curve? Watch out. Yeah, I'm being careful. <laughs> I you look cool, but I'm careful. Did you see how low I got in that corner? <laughs> yeah. Get low and slow. I mean, low and go. Yep. Oh, man, these are just so dang fun. It's a blast. I can't <laughs> believe it. It's said in the last video that we done here in Bisbee, that I never rode a bike that was so much, I laughed so much, I mean, and enjoyed it so much. Well, the time that we got in that cold rain, but that was just because oh we were God. laughing at how miserable we all were. Yeah. <laughs> He's talking about one time we was, it's on a video, no, it, was it in video? I don't think we got it on video. Yeah. Remember? Because uh, I was like, man, yeah. I wish we would have got that. 
it was me and him and Kevin, my other son, and we was on all three of us on the 300 L's. We was over south of Patagonia, and we got down there by we were by Parker Canyon Lake. And it was hot that day. It was, it was already hot. real hot. Yeah, we was burning up, but we got in this rain, and I mean that was the coldest, hardest rain I've ever like been. It was like 30 freaking degree rain. It was stupid. It was like ice. It felt like ice. And then uh, we after we it quit raining, we were soaked, soaked to the bone. And it was so hot after we got past it, it wasn't very long. We dried right out. 20 minutes later. <laughs> we was dried out. Out. <laughs> and then we probably went another 10 miles. We got in another rain. Yeah. Of course, it was getting long toward dark then, and it was cooling down. But we didn't dry then. We rode all the way home in the cold. Yep, yeah, because it wasn't hot enough. Yeah, we wasn't going to dry that second time. But the first time, we dried out. Heck, we was like, like this feels good. It's pretty funny that we were so hot before that. We got in the rain, and after that, I was like, man, this it was, feels good, that man. Was, that was one of those days where it was like 108 degrees, and then yeah. we hit that freezing rain, and it was it was crazy. I'd never felt such a temperature difference. That was crazy. ridiculous. We've had a lot of good times on the 300s. We yeah. have lots of, lots of videos on the uh, Trail 125, too, when he gets his and stuff. We can still, you know, around stuff like this on his Grom. We're going to want to come back over here and on the Grom until he gets it, but. These things are yeah. Because if they're gonna get wild. one soon, I could just put the money down on it and right, <laughs> and then I could just trade this one in back to them. <laughs> I don't know why I'm looking for cars. I mean, if I pull out, I'm gonna get up here and speed fast enough. I don't have to worry about them catching me. Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to worry about cars. Just pull out and go. Yep. No, don't advise. Don't do this at home. <laughs> <laughs> Children's, don't do this at home. Oh, we're going down the mountain now. I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, we got some speed. Boy. <laughs> yeah, you, are you serious? You blew me like by me like a crotch rocket. I'm going 62. I'm doing 58, <laughs> 59, 60. Nah, people said these things will run. It will go down a mountain on them. They All will too. Do is go down a straight downhill with the wind behind your back and a couple of farts. Yeah, and a tow rope on the front of you to a Lamborghini. You're gonna go. <laughs> It's crazy though, because after having that freezing rain, even this don't feel that bad. No, I mean it's really, cold, it's... but it's it's not miserable because, man, yeah. that, when you're wet and cold, that just sucks. Uh, we get out of this mountain here, and we get over toward the, the flat over towards the Vista. It won't be as bad as it is here. Yeah. It's warmer over there. It got colder as we come this way. Yeah. Well, I did get her to sixty. I got it to 63. I got you. Yeah, that fifth gear, I think, is what the deal is. That makes a little difference on that top speed like that. Yeah. That well, I think gear. I could have went a little bit faster, but I let up because I didn't want to go over the speed limit too much. Right. I think the best way to sum these things up is they're comfortable. It's just real. They're just simple. They're comfortable. Yeah. They're nice. I just think the best way to sum them up is smiles. Yeah, true. <laughs> They're just fun. Smiles for miles. A lot of smiles per mile. Now, I would Aren't hope you? they all pass us now. They're probably going to try their best. You can do it. Put your headlights on. You yeah, we were, we were following a car to the home the other day, and they had their lights off the whole time. Every single car blinked their lights out and say, hey, dummy, turn your lights on. It's completely dark outside. Yeah. And they still didn't do it. Then right before they got to turn into where their house it was, it looked like, they turned their lights on. They were like, oh, crap. <laughs> I forgot <laughs> these were off the whole time. Crazy. <laughs> it was like literally, I kid you not, every car we passed, the little blip of the blinkers would be like, hey, look, your lights are off, dummy. <laughs> Crazy. That's crazy. Well, we knock off far. I can see Sierra Vista over there. Yeah. Thank hey, you, guys. There. Thank you, guys, for watching Woodsman Adventures. Click the thumbs up, subscribe down below. We have lots more adventures on the 300L, the Honda Goldwing, uh, the CT125. Pacific. Hunter Cub, and while I'm getting blown away by the Little Red Grom, 
We'll catch y'all the next one. Right on.